Hello everyone, I'm Zelda Kelly with PsychicSecrets.com. Today is your weekly, that's June 11th through the 18th of 2023, tarot reading, and we have a good start with this strength card. So what is going on with you this week? Well, we'll see. Now this is for all signs, however, you may not resonate with this reading, and if you don't, well, give it a few days, because sometimes down the road... You might be thinking, hmm, you know what? That was mentioned, and I may have to go back and look. So, okay, so here we are. So let's give this a few cards more. Now, off the top, in the middle, I'm taking this one, and then we're going to take another card. These are all looking very good. So we have the Strength card, the Four of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles to start out. And on the bottom of the deck, I have this Ten of Wands, which really tells a story in itself. So let's put this to the side. We're not going to forget him. I'm just going to put him right here. And let's talk about this week coming up for you. Now the indication here is you've got strength coming into this week. You've got strength through wisdom. I think you've had a week, believe me, you've had a week this past week. But going forward, and I've got to say, for those of you who are Leo, this is your card. This is your strength card. And you see this infinite sign up here. This is an infinite amount of strength. Even though you think sometimes, well, <clears throat> pardon me, well, maybe, just maybe I can't get through. Have you ever had a week like that? Have you ever had that time where you go to bed at night and you go, oh my gosh, I just don't even know how I'm going to make another day. Pardon me, I had to have a drink. So with that being said, the four of pentacles here tells me that coming out of this last week and into this next week, you're holding on to things pretty tightly. And I think rightfully so. You're holding on, and there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. This Knight of Wands is this knight. He's a fiery element fellow. And you see, he's not really going into battle. He's keeping his shield up so he can see clearly. That's what's important for him. And you see, he's got opportunity and a lot of growth, which means that is ahead of you. He's raring to go. No pun intended. He is literally raring to go. And he is raring to go to help you. This energy, this fire element is coming at you like, okay, we can do this. We can take care of things. We can make sure things can happen. Now, a little word of caution about this Knight of Wands. He can make you feel a little fickle because sometimes we get a lot of strength. We get a lot of knowledge. We, we feel a certain way. And then all of a sudden we think, hmm, should I even feel that way? Where is this all coming from? That's from this Knight of Wands energy. But caution, that's not the way it's supposed to be. You may feel like that, but going into this coming week, that is not supposed to how you're, be how you're feeling. You are supposed to be feeling like, okay, I've done my job. I've been smart coming into this. I've been holding on, doing what I need to do. And then you have this wonderful page of pentacles that tells you all of this has not been in vain. What it is, is you're reaching a particular financial goal that you've had in mind. Now look at this page. He is grounded. Now he's not worshiping this pentacle. This is representative of money. He's not, he's not worshiping his little coin. He's admiring the work. He is pleased with himself, and I think that's you. You're going to be pleased with yourself by the end of this week. How do I know this? Well, let me go to this very nice wands card. 
this Ten of Wands means that you've completed this particular cycle. And with the fire element of this night, and you've got the fire element of this, it means this, you know, sarcastically, I sometimes refer to this card as taking your toys and going home. It almost feels as though, okay, my task is done. It's, it's complete. It's over. But now I'm going to the next stage and I'm taking all of my strength, everything that I've learned, all the intestinal fortitude that I've had, and I'm taking my hard work and I'm moving on. And that's what this, that's what this week really looks like for you. I want to look at the card underneath this because I think this is, oh, wow. Oh, yes, indeed. This, this eight of cups, you see, you've got eight cups lined up here, but there's one missing. That's the nine cups. Well, the nine of cups is your heart's desire, your wish come true, your next step, your goal manifested. It's missing. So it's not that you're walking away from look at look at the indication of these two cards going in the same direction you're walking towards so this week you're going to be walking toward this new particular goal that you have in mind your heart's desire the yes card the wish fulfilled so just don't take this too negatively i don't i like this card actually because it it basically says, okay, I've set up everything that I need to do and more. I have all the facts and now it's time for me to just, you're not walking away, you're walking towards. And the same goes for this 10 of wands. Let's get you a final message, a final message for this week. I'm pulling out the old boy here, this, this beautiful old tarot. His cards are worn, but he gives great meanings. Let's see what we can do. And you know that card, did you see that? It kind of fell out. We're going to take him because he probably would have fallen out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to take another one, too. That makes a lot of sense. And laying it on top of that four of pentacles, that makes a lot of sense. We're going to talk about that just a second here. Wonderful. Putting this to the side. Now, I know I mentioned that this is a Leo card. You do not have to be a Leo for this to resonate with you. So I want to make that clear because this is a Cancer card, meaning the sign of Cancer as well as the Chariot. So what do the new two cards mean? Well, this is an air sign. This is an air element. So this Eight of Swords, you see in this particular card, she's got this little, well, her village is in the background. That's actually the emperor's home. And there's water, which is still flowing, which is th life is still moving forward and going on. But, you know, sometimes we can just get so balled up in worry and, and analyzing, you know, to analyze is to paralyze. Have you ever heard of that? Well, sometimes we can just get so much going that we feel like we've well imprisoned ourselves. But there is definitely no way because you see, even though the first glance at this card says, oh my goodness, that just looks like dire straits. No, no, no. This is telling you there's always a way out. God always gives us this way out, this wonderful thing where we've got to do. Yes, we may have to endure but we've got a way out, and that's the way you're taking. So what is the way you're taking? Going forward, you're going to be relaxing a little bit. And with this cancer energy, this is telling you that, well, there actually could even be traveling involved. But it means that you're getting back into control. You're working on things that you're getting back to your old self. Have you said that lately? But I'm going to say, you may be getting back to your old self, but it is a better version. This week is going to be, well, feeling a little tight. But you are going to have the end goal that's going to be wonderful. 
I want to thank you so much for watching this. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, you can step on over to PsychicSecrets.com. I'm at extension 11. And also, you can find me on social media at Psychic Zelda Kelly. Come on over, say hello to me, and I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.